This morning, a deadly and apparently random shooting spree has shocked the state of Washington. Six people were killed yesterday and two others wounded by a lone gunman with a history of mental illness. Jeff Du Bois of our Seattle station KIRO reports. The mother of People suspect Isaac officer. Zamora says she desperately tried I, to help him. This is the truth. He's been so desperately mentally ill for such a long time. And, and because of the laws, when they're 18, you can't make them do anything unless they hurt themselves or others. Released from prison last month, Zamora had a long criminal record and a long history of mental illness. The rampage began in the small town of Alger, Washington, a series of random violent attacks that ended two and a half hours later as the suspect drove south on Interstate 5. Police found victims at multiple locations, among them a sheriff's deputy. There was also a second, second uh, victim there that has been shot and killed. There was two construction workers at a nearby address that have uh, been killed. There's a, uh, another address where another victim has been killed. Another victim, a motorist, was shot and killed as the suspect led police on a 90 mile per hour, 10 mile chase down the interstate. The person that died here was uh, in the wrong place at the wrong time. Uh, just driving down I-5, probably didn't even know what was going on. Two other people were wounded in the rampage. The suspect eventually surrendered. <sighs> those people, those precious people in that office, sir. I, this is the truth. I love him, but I would have rather it would have been him than any of them. Washington's governor has called for an independent investigation. Jeff Du Bois for CBS News in Skagit County, Washington.